Hi, my name is Crystal and welcome to my YouTube channel. Alexa, what's the time please? It's 8am. It's dead on 8am in the morning. Alexa, what's the date today? Today is Wednesday the 1st of December. What's the weather like, Alexa? Alexa, what's the weather like? In Rochester, it's 8 degrees Celsius with cloudy skies. Today, you can expect clouds with a chance of showers, with a high of 9 degrees and a low of 0 degrees. Okay, so, <clears throat> after coming back home last night, walking Max around the field, um, I had a nice relaxing evening indoors by myself. Um, and I watched the news. So I like to keep to up, up to date with the news. So I had, I watched the world news. I watched my local news. And I tried to put a couple of DVDs in my DVD player, but they wouldn't work. So I've got to sort that out. I was going to watch Blade last night, but I couldn't. So I just ended up watching random things on the television. Um, I got up this morning um, and I found out that usually after I have, I, I have a jab, I start having a period. So this morning I thought I feel shitty because I always do and I always have done since I started my periods when I was about 14 or 15, right? They make you feel terrible. So I woke up this morning and I had all the symptoms of the period and yes, I'm spot, spot, spotting blood again after a jab. So I'm bleeding again after a jab. Okay. So the last time I, I've had a bleed after the AstraZeneca second jab. I had one more period after that. Um, obviously, I'm going through the menopause and my periods are erratic. So, yeah, I, after the second AstraZeneca jab, it brought on a period. I just had my flu jab and now I wake up this morning and I've got another one. Um, it'd be interesting to see how long this one lasts after the AstraZeneca jab. My period lasts nearly three months. So here we go again. I lose a lot of blood and I get anemic. It makes me tired. I'm supposed to be going to the dentist uh, later on this week. And my God, I don't feel like it. I've just woken up feeling... You know, oh my God, not again. <laughs> right, so I've made myself a lovely cup of peppermint tea. I'm going to ring my mother, my mum, because she left me a couple of answer and phone messages, which I haven't listened to at the moment because the phone hurts my face, da 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 da. And I shall ring her this morning. Obviously, we've got builders banging and working outside. They have been for over a year. Um, and I'm just feeling, like, not angry, but I'm just feeling like, oh, my God, this just keeps going on forever and ever. The same things over and over again. But I'm trying to remain positive, happy, carry on with everything, yeah? And me wants to be happy. Me doesn't want to talk about being bullied. I don't want to talk about the silly things people are saying and doing to me. I want to be positive. I want to be happy. I want to do things I want to do without silly people's interference. And people acting like, some people acting like children in front of me. Grown adults, shopkeepers. You know, I'm 53 years old, I'm not three. 
I, I don't need people guarding me. People, you know what I mean? I, you know, somebody's never going to grow up properly if they've got people interfering. Is it any wonder that I do get agitated and nervous when I've got a mum that's ringing on me on the phone incessantly? How are you? Where are you? What are you doing? And then when I go, I'm, how old are you? And I get treated like I'm two years old. And this what a similar thing was happening to my dad. He was nearly 76. And my mum was telling him, like, what to do. And he was 76 years old, nearly. He never made it to 76. My poor father never did. So I'm going to ring my mother up and see what's going on. I, I, I feel crap. But there you go. Alexa, can you put LBC Radio on, please? LBC London from Global Player have the power to have direct symptoms and could be breathing it onto others without knowing. So when you go out, wear a face covering in enclosed busy spaces to help reduce the amount of COVID-19 particles in the air. Stop COVID-19 hanging around. This is LBC from Global. Leading Britain's conversation with Nick Ferrari at breakfast. 26 minutes after 8 on the stage, December the 1st coming up in the sound to party or not to party. This seems to be the round, not at the heart of government, as one set of scientific advisors suggest you should scare back on your Christmas gatherings, but the Prime Minister, pretty much backed up by the Health Secretary over the last 15 minutes or so, supporting them. Who's right? Meanwhile, in other news, justice via Zoom. Dominic Raab says remote hearings will become part of the new normal as they try and tackle that massive backlog. Talking about backlog, 740,000 cases of cancer possibly not picked up during the early days of the pandemic. On that subject, England cricket captain and Ashes winner, actually, Ray Illingworth, yesterday announcing he's changed his position on assisted dying as he reveals in his late 80s and he has a rather pessimistic kind of... Uh, uh, Review of her throat cancer that he's developed and a prognosis. We'll have an exclusive interview with Mr. Billingworth on that. And also, in this particular hour, the survey that says that young black Londoners are twice as likely to be jobless, we'll be asking why. Nick Ferrari at breakfast. Call 0345 Text 84850. Nick Ferrari at breakfast on LBC. We'll also feature that idea that I put now to a couple of people, which is becoming law in Greece. There's no debating about it. It's a fact. As of next month, if you're 60 and above and you haven't had your first, second or booster vaccine, you will be fined 100 euros in January. And the same in February and March and April and on and on it goes. I think you get the point I'm driving at. Uh, although it doesn't seem to have much traction here, we'll continue that. But the round really that came out of yesterday was a suggestion from one that the key scientific advisor of the government, remember we always follow the science, or that's what we're told, one key scientific advisor that you should perhaps suspend some of your Christmas celebrations and even office parties, which was not backed by the Prime Minister. LBC <coughs> said, there, I should never imagine this advice reports from central London where he's been talking to some potential party goes. Theo. Dr. Jenny Harris, she's the chief executive of the UK Health Security Agency, yesterday saying that we should be minimising our social contact, we should be avoiding going to parties. She Alexa. was immediately slapped down. Alexa, stop. I'm not getting into a coronavirus debate. Um, we've been living under extreme conditions for like a couple of years now. I'm not getting into a debate about it. At the end of the day, it's up to the individual uh, person and how they feel. And, um, you know, you've got to do, do your best. I keep my window open now so that I can breathe. But, um, you know, there's the ordinary flu, there's coronavirus, there's new variants. Um, um, <coughs> what can I say? I'm just going to make the most of Christmas and if it's by myself, uh, then it's by myself. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to still eat a, a Christmas dinner. 
I'm still going to have a Christmas pudding and I'm still going to watch Christmas TV and DVDs and I'm still going to enjoy myself even 